Hello and welcome to Steve Sparkles Corner. I'm Chris and today we're going to draw the Superman logo. As you can see, I kind of already started and uh, we're drawing this one right here, by the way. I don't know if you can see it right here. We're going to put it on my new cabinet. Make sure I do the Autobot logo next. But, uh, right now I have the materials of my paints, my crayons, markers, disposal. So, as I told my tablet, you start off with white, a white crayon to outline. It doesn't matter if you have any mistakes because that's what the dark color comes in. So I use blue. And now we're going to top it off with the black. Now, this is the final copy of it, so make sure you line everything up as you want it. So there's no going back after that. I'm gonna top it off with white paint after, but I need my final draft to come in before I finish the Superman logo. I always start off with the with the borders. Never do the inside first. You do the inside first, you pray that they already messed up. Draws. Draws. What was that? You're only going to outline the ends with the black. And just for keepsake. Safety. Make sure it draws. Cool. So we've got the ends done. So now we grab our assortments of paints. We're going to need white. Where did I put my paintbrushes in this? This is where it gets really fun. We're just only going to outline the end first. We're doing the ends first. I've been doing art for about pretty much my whole life already. Uh, this is actually a request from a friend of mine, and I've been wanting to do this the entire time. Make sure you stay in the lines when you can draw this up. But this is going to be my own version of the Superman logo. We're going to use the classic first for this video. Quite complex. It's not really it's quite Superman. It's not very complex at all. Be very gentle is what we do. Because you cannot erase paint. So, while you do this magical, only lightly dip your your paintbrush in there. You don't want heavy splooshes in the corner. Before it dries out, there we go. I'm using quick dry paint for a reason. Uh, so you can see we're doing the whole logo, logo Roni here. <laughs> Next up, we're going to do Batman after this, after I'm done coloring, showing you what's going to happen. We're going to make the Green Lantern Corps after. It's going to be many different series of different things I'm going to do. So why not start with the Man of Steel, huh? My guest star, David, will come in later after he's done doing what he's doing. Whatever he's doing. Uh, he's... He's my nerdy, nerdy companion. My amigo. Which I got to change my seat in his car later because apparently it was moved because we were bringing this bad boy. Voila! It doesn't matter if you got a little bit of lungs going, but that's the Superman logo part one. Going on right here. I'm also recording for YouTube over here. You see we've done everything right. Blah, blah, blah. So make sure you grab your lucky, lucky water. You rinse out your paintbrush because now we are going to go to the next color which is going to be the red we do the yellow last do not do the red do not do 
don't do the yellow first. Okay, it's... So, we have a choice of lemon yellow. Which is, all this stuff is fresh from my paint collection. Top right there. I don't need that much yellow, but just in case you made mistakes. I'm using oil color paint. Lightly get in the edges. Quite unique. Hey, David. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Does Monty Python have a logo? I don't think they do. Can you research that for me, please? You have a guy about my interest in that one. Hey, it's very interesting. It's a very interesting question, actually. Multi-layer this. Take it as a name. Oh, he's not got my Android. Okay. My my guest star here from my from my his channel Philosophical Rage Quit. Who uh which uh, the, um, get ready for Sunday. We are gonna bring out another Borderlands video day four. Yeah, we, we need to. Yeah, I had planned to do that do, today, we, but we didn't. Oh, we can do it today, actually. No, it's just this just comes up with the various uh, flying circus and Python website and such, all their various logo banners. I saw that as But they do have the uh, they do have the mustache sun though. Can I see that? That, that's perfect. <laughs> that's perfect. I'll do that. I'll, I'll, I'll put that. So it's called Mustache Sun? Well, that's what I call it. Alright, so as you can see, we're outlining the magical yellow. So one ass, luckily, thank goodness, the paint I get. Alright, dude, they're actually coming out really good. So we are done, the yellow. Now we move on to the red. Rinse out your paintbrush after. And let's see, I'm sorry if I got in the way. Guys. Now, if I was going to do, I would do the quintesson. Ooh, that, that, that is what I would do. All right, so show me the G2 Decepticon. Sure. Let's see what choices of red we have. Oh, we have Scarlet. That's good enough for me. Seems like red, isn't it? Yeah, it looks red. Huh. That's a G2 Autobot? That's a G2 Decepticon, and that's a G2 Autobot in the bottom right corner. Holy cow, I might do those, actually. I told you. Holy shit. Plus, these are wicked obscure here in the U.S. So I was gonna write Michael Bay sucks <laughs> on on the front of this. <laughs> so now we are going to red. Show you two red. Make sure this is clean. This is where shit's gonna get real. Huh? All right. So lightly dip, not too much. Start off from the bottom, make your way to the top. So we're almost done this portrait. Now, I'm going to show you a symbol that's really, really complex, obs obscure from Transformers. So, that 10 to 1, nobody will know what it is. Anybody you show it to, even those hardcore Transformers fans, the only 
going with her like me, that goes like to the really. I would say, aren't you a hardcore? Uh, yeah, but I just, I'm trying to get it to come up right now. I'll let you know me. Dude, this Superman movie is coming out really sick. See, this is a Superman logo. Ah, uh, I should do the Superman, uh, what was he, Green Lantern Corps? Green Lantern Corps was Superman? Yeah. Uh, was he? No, he was He was never Sinestro Corps. No, he, he was, I don't know, I would have to check. I know Batman was Sinestro Corps. Yeah. Uh, since we have white here, we're going to outline the white out. Unfortunately, because that being brown, you can't really get the Black Lantern core symbol, though. I know. That's what I'm going to hate. Wait, uh... You have to do a splash of white on it just to get it to show up. Yeah, I have to, wi I have to white first and then black. But it'd come out gray, though. You can do White Lantern core, though. This looks not a fan of white. But I'll do it anyway. I do want to put all the Lantern cores. Just because, dude, it's the Lantern cores. Like... I'll just reopen it. Alright, take it down. Alrighty. Oh, yeah, now it's working. So remember, white crayon first. White crayon first, then a darker crayon, then you outline with white. I'm gonna come back with black. And, out and do the whole rest, but I'm just gonna leave it white border. It shows up more nicely, it looks beautiful as it is. No, that's not the right one, that's from the rice, it's not it. Hey, from your point of view, does this look nice? Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, right. <laughs> I actually was, I might go to Michael's and get this, uh. Chris. Yeah. Herald of Unicron logo. That's the logo? That's the logo for the Herald of Unicrons. And who were the Herald of Unicrons? Like, who were they? The, the, those were the Transformers made by Unicron. Let me guess, Galvatron? No. He wasn't uh, one of them? I guess one Galvatron was one of them. From the comics, the Herald of Unicron logo is from the comics. Okay, so Gavatron was never. Uh, Might have been. I, I never. I was about to say because I know. I never had the chance to actually get the Herald of Unicron comics because that was from in the comics from the uh, Unicron verse uh, Primus verse Primus comics. And Pri I think Prime their Primus had the Autobot symbol. Yeah, but the Herald of Unicrons is from uh, Unicron's Elite Core in the comics. Was at the door anyway. Nah, it's coming over, so I was making sure I got it unlocked. So this is the Superman logo. Completely done. Only takes a couple steps. Does the Justice League have a logo? Yes, yeah, JLU. That's it? Yes, yeah, oh, JLU. Really? Oh. Yeah, you, you've seen it countless times, you just never realized it's JLU. I don't know if there was ever given anything more complicated than that. But I'm, as far as I'm aware of, it never has been. Hey, see, Sparkle! What? Come check this out. Now, the, the now the Justice Legion, I think, had a symbol. Nice! Alright. I think the Justice Legion had a logo, though. Hmm. I wonder what the evil, like, all the evil villains were called. If the Justice League was the good guys. Hmm. Uh, I know Teen Titans were like it was. Uh, it was they were given a name, but it was uh, called uh, Doom. the Legion of Doom. Oh, it was really the Legion of Doom. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> what was their leader? But uh, Lex Luthor, I think, was one, was the leader. Really, Luthor? Yeah. Are you serious? Well, that's because he was a genius. It was his idea to create the uh, Legion of Doom. All right, what is that? Huh? All right, next up is Green Lantern. 
fairly complex. Oh my god, this is fairly easy. <coughs> Never mind. I take that back. No, yeah, it's. It's Queen Lantern. Queen Lantern is easy symbol. I should start off the circle, actually. Now. I'll show you. No, uh, yeah, so show me which is the hardest Lantern core to do, and I'll do it. But not on video, though. So I'm gonna look up here. Hey, gang. I like it so far. Wow, this is crazy. That's... Jeez, oh, dude. I messed up a little bit on the circle, though, but uh, That's what the dark color is for. The dark color is always to fix your mistakes. So, I'm gonna move this line a bit down. It's equal. It is equal. Cool. That would have to be white life. White life? Yeah. It's on the right. Oh, jeez. But... Hey. Take a look at take a look at the black lantern core death though on the left. Jeez. Oh jeez, this is so troublesome. So li life? Yeah, life is the white lantern core. Is the hardest. Yeah. Jeez, I'm gonna have to take practice for that one. Now. Oh, let me draw a little circle there. I'm gonna have to use a cheat code. I need circles. You want to see a tough one? I'll show you a tough symbol. Well, I'm trying to get it perfect. <laughs> this is what you call trying to do things right when you know you're going to do it wrong. It's as close as I'm going to get. No. Yeah would be miserable. What the? That's the Robin and Star Empire? No! no. Uh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> it looks nice. I like the colors. But here's the original one, though. Here's the old one. No, if I was trying to kill you, I would show you the the Klingon language. <laughs> no, really? if I was trying to kill you with kill you with a heart symbol. Do the Vulcans have a logo? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I gotta see that. All right. So next up, move back to your white. Outline what you have. So let me show you guys what I have and what's in store. It's a real easy one though. For the uh, The Vulcans. Yeah, the Vulcan symbol is really, really absurdly. It's, it's that right there. It's these two right here. But that's it orientated correctly, though, is this one. Huh. Well then. But I'll show you an easy one, though, from Star Trek. Because you're not making me draw the Enterprise. Jeez, how I'm going to have trouble doing that, dude. Here it is in its in its in its full board. Yeah, but this, but that's her that's her basic badge style though. Is this one? Exactly. Oh, yeah, I told you, I told you that's the easiest one from Star Trek. Okay, I need to type in hardest logo to find. Just put type in on Google hardest logo to draw. Try it. All right, so for the Green Lantern, it's just solid green. That's all you're doing. Just green. Nothing special with that. Huh? Didn't even give it because I I know what it looks like. So I've actually tried to draw it, and I don't know what it looks like. If I can remember what it is, I would actually pull it up for you to see it. But I, but I have a pretty good idea what it looks like. Yeah, I should 
put bricks in the background of this? I should really go to Michael's and uh, get those uh, sten the, uh, the stencils. You know those white things that people paint on? Yeah. Those. They make art. I, I am actually making a logo for our. I already told you about the logo, but actually, I'm making one for your mom's channel too. That way we can have our own logo. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up right now. I never finished our logo, David. You can't show people. Welcome to Philosophical Rage Pro, where I'm not the rage Wow. Player. In fact, it's so hard. I just now Googled it because I just remembered what it is. Yeah. And it didn't even come up. Was that hard? Yeah, the logo's that hard. What did they give you so far? Just the mech. It's that hard to draw. Is it a Gundam? No, it's, uh, it's Mech Warrior. Oh. The logo is actually the is actually the Timberwolf division. Now I know what you're talking about. It's that it's that hard to draw because I remember it from uh, Mech I'm Warrior. Free, I'm not to free draw that. So I do remember what it looks like. The good part about this stuff to have to free draw everything with a crayon. Because I remember it was a triangle with the wolf head through it. That really it. Mm-hmm. Is that a detailed wolf head? Oh yeah. All right, so when you're done, you're gonna see some little lines there. Just in fact, the logo logo is used on used only on the PS1 game for Mech Warrior. I'm surprised they even developed it on the PS1. You know what I mean? I'm talking about just programming that logo in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was used in the it was used in the intro for the Mech Warrior game. That's why. Huh? The place this was used for the intro. Because it would show each of the mechs that was in the game and do each of the uh, companies that built them symbols for each of the mechs. And that was, in my opinion, the sickest video game intro in history. I've got to watch it. I think I should watch it. Yeah, you really. Yeah, if you've never seen it, you should look it up. I've seen the thing, but I've never played the game. Let me just say this to you. I don't. I know. I don't. My ninety, my ninety-something followers on on Xbox are down. <laughs> They're heartbroken. I gotta put the XG on that one too. Green Lantern Core complete. Jeez. Oh, I'm gonna the Green Lantern Core. <laughs> I gotta put Batman's logo. Ah. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna hate Wonder Woman's. Flash looks simple. Uh, it's over on a lightning bolt. But that's all I'm gonna do today for this video. Thank you for watching. Uh, let me show my Green Lantern Core Superman. Uh, when I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna put the Gen 2 Decepticon logo, the Heralds of Unicron, the original Autobots logo, the G1. And uh, everything else is going to be surrounded except for the back. The back's not going to have anything, but it's going to be all around here. Uh, as for you, camera, thank you for watching See Sparkle's Corner. I'm Chris, and thank you for watching. Feel free to like, share, subscribe. Uh, if you guys want me to free draw anything, uh, please do so. I'll be happy to. If it's something complex, I'm still going to try anyway. So, bye.